October 10th meeting of the Board of Public Works and Safety. Roll call. Here. Here. Uh, are there any conflict of interest statements? Approval of the minutes. These are the ones I read yesterday. I'd like to recommend that we approve the minutes. Would you concur? Concur. Uh, first item is the contract with Superior Construction for the Erie Lackawanna and the Monon pedestrian bridges. Uh, these have been reviewed by the city attorney. They were awarded the project last week. Uh, I'd like to recommend that we approve both of those. Well, that, that contract that covers both of the bridges. I concur. Next is an agreement with Nice Engineering for construction observation the Monon Trail Bridge Project. Um, I'd like to, rec well, not at Bobby here. I'm excited about starting, huh? So uh, I'd like to recommend that we approve the construction supervision contract for the Monon Trail. I concur. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Okay, I'm going to turn the gavel over to Mr. Lindy, who was late for the meeting today. <laughs> I concur. <laughs> Is there a motion to uh, suppress Stan's statement? <laughs> Item C, supplemental agreement number one for right-of-way services on the Nipsco bike trail. by $3,500. Is there a motion to approve the change order? So moved. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Item D, we have supplemental agreement number two for Sheffield Avenue construction. Now this is an increase, and this is an increase because of some INDOT requirements. They're not going to let us mill and resurface the portion of the street anymore <coughs> where we're changing the street width for the trail. They're also requesting uh, substantial more right-of-way verification than we normally have to do. So the increase on this project uh, is $29,800. So it'll take the engineering fee. There was one other supplemental up to 196. There are a motion to approve, approve the change order. So second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Item E, we have an agreement with East Engineering for engineering Field Street and Calumet to Tapper. This is a third district project. Um, where's the dollar amount? Hmm? Oh, the yellow paper. thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. I'd like to make a motion to approve the agreement to engineer Field Street. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Item F, we have a request from Hammond Pest Control for Environmental Monitoring. It's been reviewed by Corporation Council. Is there a motion to approve the request? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Item G, we have correspondence from Chief Miller requesting the approval of probationary officer Breitweiser and several disposal authorizations of city assets. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Item H, we have a hearing on 40 Warren Street. Any interested parties, please come forward. Good morning. This property is owned by Helen Jackula. Uh, the summer has proved very busy. We've been trying to schedule a meeting see if it could be resolved, uh, I think probably since June, but unable to schedule it yet. Uh, so I'd ask if the board can continue this to perhaps November 7th, and hopefully we can get with the building department and city attorney and work something out. Is there a motion to 
there a motion to set this for November 7th? I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Item I. 4834 Ash. That's also mine. Mr. and Mrs. Jimenez owned this property. It was uh, damaged when the uh, water pipes burst. Uh, we're waiting on the mortgage release because they paid off the mortgage with the insurance money, and then they are probably going to donate the property to Habitat for Humanity. And what I talked with Ms. Cantar about doing to resolve it here was preparing a restriction that would be recorded showing the property can only be used for single family residents. Um, I don't think that's actually necessary. We've already had it affirmed and the findings and orders signed and submitted. So I mean, realistically, what we'd like to see is that the property, um, you know, what we'll do is we'll place it, um, no reconnection permits until inspected. So whoever the new owners are, you know, they have to get an inspection so that they understand it can only be used as a single family home. Um, but this one has already been affirmed and the findings and orders already approved and submitted for the property. So. I think we can cover that with the restriction. Um, okay. That'll work. So if we set that for November 7th, I'll have the restriction done and we can formally dispose of it by then. Make a motion that we move Does it to November 7th. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Carried. Item J, 1916 Calumet. So that's property owned by John Heldack. I've just finished my investigation. I'm going to be asking the city to meet. I think there was some building permits that were missed, uh, but I think we can resolve it. Perhaps the a status on the 7th, since, since I'm going to be here. That went to November 7th also. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Item K, 814 Hoffman. And that's a property First Federal Savings and Loan Association took as a foreclosure. Uh, I've also got a request to meet with the city on that. We just haven't been able to do that. Uh, they're pretty much agreeable to either changing it to a, a single family or finding out what's permitted to keep it as a two unit and do that work. But we need to get some, some direction from the city on that. November 7th? Works for me that we move it to November 7th. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Item L. Thank you very much. 1020 Becker. Mr. President, can we please pass this up for a moment? Amanda Hires is the attorney and she is on her way. So we move good. it to the end of the call. Item M. 6432 Monroe. Any interested parties for 6432 Monroe, please come forward. We're asking for the removal of the basement bedrooms and the second floor apartment. No fire separation, no permits to convert. Ceiling height in the basement, six foot four. I make a motion to find their, finding, find their findings in order. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. 931 Wilcox. Motion that we move that to the 17th of October. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Motion carries. Item O, 7850 Bertram. That's mine. I did not. Yes. To the owner of the house at 7850 Bertram? Yes. Okay. This is your opportunity to explain to the board why you did not register your rental unit there. Well, for one, my mother was diagnosed with brain cancer last year in April. I just packed up, moved out, quit my job, asked a friend of mine who's a realtor if she can rent or sell the house. She said she can better off rent it faster than sell it. So she did. She said she would take care of everything. I did not know when I, you know, that I had to apply anywhere for anything. Uh, she told me she would take care of it. When I returned, uh, my mother passed away in June. I returned back in June, stayed with the daughter for a while until I found another job. Um, the people who were renting the house moved out. I re-rented it, and when they went to have the water turned on, they're the one who gave me this notice, and that's why I'm here today. I wasn't aware of having to file anything. Was this became a record in 2012? Yes. And you, you left town in April of 13? I left town in April of 2012. 
I, went, I moved to Missouri for about three months. My mother passed away in June. I came back and lived with my daughter for a while. Any additional information you'd like to relay to the board, ma'am? Um, I guess I could have thrown the people out, but I didn't. They had a year lease when I left, and I couldn't throw them out. Um, I felt bad. In the meantime, I bought another house and was going to sell this one, and the people next door to me wanted to rent it, so I rented to them, and that's when they um, went to turn the water on and gave me this notice. So it's currently rented right now? Yes, it is. I'd like to make a motion that we waive the $500 late fee, but we, um, you got to pay two years of the $80 registration for 12 and 13. Okay. I'll that All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. You'll have 30 days to register the unit at the regular rate of $80 for 2012 and 2013. If you fail to register the unit in 30 days. Already did. Okay. Our, our order will be void and the late fees will be assessed. Okay? Okay. okay. Thank you. Item P, 4710. Henry. I have documentation here that the property owner paid the registration fee and the late fee. So that it appears that there is no action that needs to be taken on 4710 Henry. Item Q, 1608 Myrtle. Ms. Kovic? <laughs> Are you the owner of 1608 Myrtle? Yes. Okay. It's your opportunity to explain to the board why you weren't able to register the unit at 1608. Insurance? Yes. No, she, no. she, was, she, she no. wasn't familiar with any of it. Um, she wasn't aware she was supposed to do anything. I don't know. We have to pay. Is this a single family home? It is. This is a standard two bedroom. It's maybe eight, nine hundred square foot. It ain't man, and it's on the bridge. Is this the only rental unit you guys own, or are you? Right, yeah. It wasn't intentionally supposed to be a rental. She purchased it for my brother. Um, but my brother lived there. His, he didn't have enough established credit. Now that he moved out, she was trying to sell it. In the meantime, this couple from a friend of a friend of a friend decided they want to live in it and then purchase it from her when they had their credit established in. They're currently in the process of doing that. I don't know. At what point did this become a rental unit? Uh, what date? Maybe. When, when, Roughly. When did they start? When did they start living there? Uh, rent. Uh, 2012, and uh, uh, he paid first rent on. Uh, 2012. And February. Is it rented now? February. Yes, for, February. Give it the deposit. March. I'd like to make a motion that we waive the late fee and that uh, the 2012 and 13 years be paid at $80 each year. Okay. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Okay. Aye. Aye. Motion carries. You'll have 30 days to register the unit. You have to pay the regular registration fee for 2012 and 2013. Okay. The late fees are waived. If you fail to register the unit in 30 days, our order will be vacated and the late fees will then be assessed. Okay. Okay. She pays that here today? Yeah, if you guys want to wait until after the meeting, you can get a copy of our order from the board secretary. You can take the copy of our order downstairs to the building department and register the units today. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. President. Thank you very much. I'm sorry we don't. You're welcome. Mr. President, we can do 1020 Becker if you'd like. Now, Attorney Hires is here. Item L. 1020 Becker Street. <laughs> Good morning. I apologize for my tardiness. I court ran over in Lake County. Uh, basically, what the city's asking for, uh, it currently sits as a, a five unit property with a basement apartment. What we're looking to do is get um, the second floor rear apartment, first floor, no, I'm sorry, second floor front, first floor rear, and the basement apartment removed. Uh, upon the inspection, there was only three units occupied. Uh, the two, uh, the, actually the three were marked uninhabitable. Um, in the meantime, the owner has hired the appropriate contractors to go in and start the conversion. Um, the electrician, uh, general contractor, so they are in the process of complying. Uh, what we're asking today is that we affirm for the removals 
Um, that way uh, I can get recorded that this property can only be used as a two unit. You want it from a five to a two? Correct. Uh, the findings and orders will be uh, submitted. Ms. Hires? Oh, we actually agree with that, Your Honor. We've been, or <laughs> sorry, I was just in court. The board, Your That's Honor. Definitely a misnomer, if you for will. Me. <laughs> 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 um, we've been working with uh, in Inspector Farrell, um, and our client is more than happy to comply. And Very good. Does uh, any idea? on approximately how long it's going to take for the renovations to occur? Um, you know what, I'm not sure. I know that the contractor and the electrician um, got the permits pulled right. and the work yeah. approved. Actually, I believe the electric electrician is starting um, very soon, if not the, today. Um, so, you know, I, I would... 30 days. 30 days. Um, yeah. Set for status on November. Uh, is there a motion to affirm the findings in order and set a motion for, from the findings in order and move it to November? For status, all in favor? Aye. And she also has a rental registration for the same property. Um, that is correct. Yeah. It was what he bought. I think he bought the property in April, so it was after the registration date. And I think there's only three units occupied at that time. Correct. So. City would request to let you waive for the current year. We're moving this to a two unit? Correct. Is there a motion to waive the late fees and <coughs> order the owner to register the two units at the regular rate of $80? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. 30 days um, to register as well? Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. All right, item R. We have correspondence requesting several rental registration hearing dates. Two weeks, Mr. Smith. The 24th. Make a motion that we move it to the 24th. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Item S, we have correspondence from an individual who had a rental registration hearing last week that was given, it appears she was given some bad information. She called City Hall to find out the time of the hearing. Person that answered the phone thought they were going to be in, she was going to be in court and told her to show up at 2 o'clock instead of 10 o'clock. She's requesting that her case be reheard. Is there a motion to rehear this case and set it for a date two weeks out? All in favor? Aye. Aye. October 24th. Motion carries October 24th. We'll make sure the same. Thank you. Item T, we have an agreement to re rehabilitate 1040 Reese that's been prepared by Corporation Council. 1014 Reese. Is there a motion to approve the agreement to rehabilitate the property? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Item U, we have several garage sale permits submitted for approval. Is there a motion to approve the permits? Make a motion we approve them all. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Is there any matters from other board members? I have two matters. I have a request from the Greater Works Outreach Prayer Deliverance <coughs> Ministry. Uh, they're going to be what's their address? 5125 Holman Avenue. They're gonna uh, they're gonna be having a play on October 26th through the 31st. They're gonna have some activities outside. It appears the activities are going to be in their parking lot, but there may be some spillover. So they're requesting the board okay for the outside activities for their play. So I'd like to make a motion that we approve that. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Then I have a request from Core Construction. They're going to be building the uh, Munster Steel Building. Uh, they're going to. They're they're requesting to close off Hewen Street. And they verified with Halter, who's the only other property owner that utilizes that portion of the street, that they don't have a problem with it. So I'd like to make a motion that we allow them to close off Ewan Street in front of the Munster Steel site during the construction period. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Is there any new world business? Bobby, I think Chris is trying to get a file. So we might want to come back to uh, 
Okay. Uh, in the meantime, we'll open up the meeting for public expression. Anybody from the public wishing to address the board, now is your opportunity to do so. Come on forward, sir. I was told to attend and uh, request a temporary street closing uh, for October 26th. I'm the owner of Old Glory Tavern, and we're going to have our 10-year anniversary. We'd like to block off Martha Street. Uh, Martha. Actually, I, we're the only building on Martha. Uh, is it the one south of the building? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. You're south the only the business building. there except for the Christmas tree The Christmas guys tree lot on the other right side. Now. And we just wanted to close it from the alley to uh, Indianapolis Boulevard. And the construction is going on now anyway. And it's been closed half the time anyway. So. I'd like to make a motion that we approve the closure. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. Uh, do I have to touch base with anybody? Do they bring out the barricades, or we just close it off, or how does that work? Normally, he's got to talk to Gary Gleason, right? You need to contact Gary, Gary? Gleason over on Conkey Street to make sure that you have barricades when you need them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Matters for department heads? Matters, yes, Sorry. matters for department heads. Sorry, I just want to know, is anybody here on the property at 5659 Walter? This is a property we affirmed for demolition, and in between the time of affirming it for demolition and bidding, uh, it changed hands, so we re-noticed it for a date of bid opening for today, and if nobody is here, we're just going to proceed forward with the demolition. Very good. We'll enter that into the record, please. Anyone else for public expression? Um, I was trying to find out. Um, I had a... Um paid $150 for the inspection for 5653 Clyde. And I got this paper, so I want to know, is there any type of way that I can get a waiver for the performance bond? I was told to come here. Ma'am, normally in this, in this circumstance, what happens is the property owner gets the demolition inspection. You receive the inspection report. Yeah. If at a time that you enter into contract with a licensed contractor in the city of Hammond that is intending to perform all the work that's on the demolition report, the building department may then approach the board and favorably recommend the, wave, uh, the waiving of your performance bond. So the next step, if you're going to attempt to get the performance bond waived, is to work with the building department, work with the contractor of your choice, and to enter into an agreement with that contractor to perform the work necessary on the home. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else for public expression? I think we have a motion to adjourn. All in favor? 